God, I found you. I don't know who this is for, but I just, I want to address the body of Christ. This might be a word for everybody, but I want you guys to understand that just in the scene, David is escaping from so-called NASA facility, and they're treating him like he's a guinea pig. And I want you to understand, in the body of Christ, the enemy is always trying to do this to you. He's always trying to bring you down. He's always trying to make you cry. He's always trying to keep you from your divine destiny. He's always trying to confuse you. I'll tell you right now, there are witches, there are warlocks always constantly trying to bring separation spells, uh, love spells, uh, even trying to do graveyard witch, uh, rituals in order to stop the body of Christ. And I'm going to remind you right now, you have authority over this people. You can do just as Elisha uh, called fire down on heaven, and you can burn down those demonic altars. You don't have to stand for it. You don't have to stand your way. You can stand your ground against them. It's time for the escape. You, cannot, you need to not just have the escapement mentality, but you need to say, God, you've given me the authority over this people. He's given you the power to trample over serpents and scorpions, over principalities of darkness. You have the right to bind these demons. You have the right to bind them. Cast them out in the name of Jesus. Have their eyes burned out of their sockets. They have no authority in your home. They have no authority in your family. A lot of you are going to sleep at night in fear, wondering what's going to happen tomorrow. So I remind you, I remind the body of Christ to stand up and remember your heritage. And when the enemy comes trying to knock at your door, trying to, to, trying to put you in fear, you remind him of his future. The Bible says very clearly that when, when the enemy comes in like a flood, God's going to raise a standard up against him. So I'm telling you right now, you call it in, you ask the Father to raise up a standard against him. Don't let it be your last thinking error to think, oh, I'm just gonna let him, I'm just gonna lay here and let them kill me. No, no, you stand up and fight. There's more power in you than that's that little devil old creepy is. There's more power than you than than in you than outside of the world. The Bible says, greater is he's in you than he is in the world. So stand up and fight. Stand up and fight. And believe that God's got a plan for you. He's not waiting around. He's, he's already charging for it. He's already charged into battle for you. The, the Bible says the battle's the Lord's. So God's going to provide for you. Just think about the praise team. They sent out the praise and God sent an ambush. He sent an ambush into the enemy's kingdom. A lot of you have hidden gifts that you haven't even tapped into. Potentials. A lot of you probably have music abilities, musical talents. A lot of you want to win souls into the kingdom, but you just don't know how. Maybe the enemy's got you so in fear because you don't know where to start. Because he doesn't want you to do that. He doesn't want you to win those a thousand souls a night. He doesn't want you flying around the, the country. Every night you get off from working for Southwest Airlines and going and winning souls. He don't want that. He wants you laying in your bed in that hotel room and trying to rest and fly back the next day. No, he doesn't. You get out there and you fight and you do what God's called you to do. When you're obedient, God will bless you. And I believe this is a season in this time frame right now that God is calling his children to move in strategic patterns. I hope this message blesses you. Goodbye until next time.